Hello, good morning. How are you this beautiful, God-given day? I could be better. You could be, that's true, if you live your day with the Lord. Do you know the love of Jesus Christ? Probably not. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, he died for our sins, mine, yours, everyone's. And only through him may you enter the kingdom of God. Is that so? It is so, the one and only truth. Do you know what's gonna happen to you when you die? I have an inkling. If you live with Christ, then you will enter the kingdom of heaven and stand with the Lord God everlasting. Sounds like a great deal. Living in sin without the light of Christ in your life can lead to an eternity of torment. Yes, that's it. Now you're starting to see what can be if you don't repent. Be afraid, be very afraid. Only this can save you, my child. Listen, all that sounds great, really, but I've got to get back to my breakfast. On any other day, I'd invite you in and really get to know you, but my schedule's not going to permit it. Not today. But there's nothing more important Look, than your- Look, it sounds like you found your purpose in this world, and that's a beautiful thing. You have yours, I have mine. Be grateful you found it, well, okay? But I just, I needed to tell- Hi, hi, Mom. Uh, you must be working. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I just wanted to say thanks, all right, for teaching me how to be a person in this world, helping me understand what really matters. I know we haven't spoken in a while, maybe even a long while, but um, I know you've been busy, and so have I. It's hard to find time when there's so much work to be done. You, you show me what dedication means and the price that we pay for it. I just wanted to say I love you. I hope you'll be proud of me.
thought, I thought maybe it had been a dream. Maybe I just. No dream, just the deal. Well, listen, about that, I've done good work. My life's work. I've done so much, made a difference. It has to count for something. When we first spoke, I couldn't believe that it had, that I'd actually found someone willing to help, to help me, to assist me in making the world a better place. Right? A better place than I would leave it. And you came. And you allowed me to do what I needed to do. Yes. The deal. And you came through. Ten years, just like you said. Not a single bump in the road. Not a worry that my crusade would be ended prematurely. I was free. You gave me freedom to help in the way only I could. Because only I could see. Right? Do you see? And them? What would they say about your good work? Them. They should thank me. They were wastes. Purposeless taking everything and providing nothing. They couldn't see how they were hurting those around them with their infectious nihilism. Always taking, never giving, never offering or giving back. Refusing to give even their own lives meaning. They couldn't see the damage they were doing. So I took their eyes. They couldn't feel how awful it was to waste their lives. So I took their hearts. Their every breath stole from those of us with purpose. So I took that too. I took those things and I fed on them so at the end they would have meaning after all. To help me do my good work. So you see, you understand, 10 years wasn't enough. I have to keep going. I haven't done enough to make this world a better place. There are so many out there who don't understand that their directionless lives do nothing but get in the way of those of us with purpose. Can't you see? We offered. You understood. You accepted. Now, our purpose. Your purpose? Chaos and chance. These are mortal laws. Those who ignore the balance call to us. Grasping for any advantage. Desperate willing to pay any price, but unwilling to struggle for their beliefs. You are not special. You are one of many. And now, you belong to us. Our purpose, our good work. I don't regret it. I did good things necessary things, I helped. I left a trace. Others will find it. They will see, they'll understand, and they'll continue what I started. It was worth it. So go ahead, do your worst. Just know that my story...